Thank you for joining me in the first part of week one of this unit's introduction to information systems. And uh, for this week, we have here the following learning objectives. The first one, to understand the concept of a system and how it relates to information systems. Second, we're going to explain why knowledge of information systems is important for business professionals and identify five areas of information systems knowledge that they need. And third, give examples to illustrate how the business applications of information systems can support a firm's business processes, managerial decision making, and strategies for competitive advantage. I want you to search in this word and kindly define competitive advantage and later on we are going to discuss this term. Let's move on to the introduction to information systems or IS in the business today. Why we have this unit it's stated and it is believed that IS have become an integrated into daily business activities like accounting, finance, operations management, marketing, human resource management, or other major business function. And it is believed that IS and technologies are vital components of successful businesses and organizations. Next point. Information technology or IT can help all kinds of businesses improve the efficiency and effectiveness of business processes, managerial decision making, and work group collaboration. In your unit fundamentals of information technology, for that session you have learned the different components of IT and in this unit we are going to differentiate IT and IS which are essential ingredients for business success in today's dynamic global environment. And in this slide, we'll show the difference between information systems and information technology. And take note of this. In your fundamentals of IT, you have learned the different hardware resources, software resources. You've learned about the basics of networking and you were defined what are the different data available in the computer system and these things will be composing of the term information technology now if we are going to add people and processes and we're going to involve them in the organization and all of those things the hardware software networks data people and processes will be part of information systems and take note that information technology is the design and implementation of information or data within the information system on page 8 of the textbook I gave you what we're going to do write the examples of information systems and briefly describe their functions and write it in your notes. Thank you. Next part is the IS framework for business professionals and we have your different components. The first component is known as the foundation concepts. It is followed by the information technologies. Next, management challenges. Next one is the business applications. And lastly, the development processes. Let's discuss them one by one. The first concept, foundation concepts. This term refers to the fundamental behavioral, technical, business, and managerial concepts about the components and roles of IS. So examples include the basic information system concepts derived from general systems theory, or competitive strategies concepts used to develop business applications of IT for competitive advantage. The second term is information technologies. And this 
term, it referred to the major concepts and developments and management issues in information technology, that is, hardware, software, networks, and data management, and many internet-based technologies. The next component is the business applications. This term refers to the major uses of IS for the operations, management, and competitive advantage of a business. The next component is the development processes, and this term refers to how business professionals and information specialists plan, develop, and implement information systems to meet business opportunities. And lastly, the term management challenges, it refers to the challenges of effectively and ethically managing information technology at the end user, enterprise, and global levels of a business. Next point, we're going to discuss the fundamental roles of IS in business, why IS is important. The first point is that IS support of business processes and operations. In information systems support of decision making by employees and managers, and lastly, IS support strategies for competitive advantage. And we are going to look at the different levels of management in an organization. And we have here the top level, and IS will support the CEO, the COO, or the top level management for competitive advantage. And at the level management part, IS will support business for decision making. And in the operational part of the organization, IS will support business processes and operations.